Hey guys, I hope you are doing great. In the last video, we talked about the DHCP protocol, dynamic host configuration protocol, and in today's video, I will explain how it works. So, let's start. As we discussed in the last video, the DHCP operates at the application layer of the TCP IP stack, dynamically assigning IP addresses and other network configuration details to clients. It works as a client-server protocol where servers manage a pool of unique IP addresses and assign them to clients upon request. Now, let's take a look at the steps that are involved during the DHCP connection. The first step is when the client broadcasts the DHCP discovery message over the network channel to establish a network connection with the DHCP server. This message indicates that the client device wants to connect to the internet through the DHCP server. In the second step, the DHCP server receives the DHCP discovery message. Based on this message, the server receives an IP address and other network settings for the client, such as the subnet mask, default gateway, and preferred DNS server. Then, it sends these details to the client in a DHCP offer message. In the third step, the client responds to the DHCP server's DHCP offer by sending a DHCP request message. This message requests the offered IP address and the relevant network configuration provided by the DHCP server. In the last step, the server acknowledges the DHCP request broadcast from the client device and sends the DHCP packet to the DHCP client. This packet contains the necessary network configuration for the client device. Now, you will learn about some DHCP settings that are essential for controlling IP address assignment, reservation requirements, and other configuration. DHCP settings, scope, list, and address reservation. First, let's start with the scope. This settings defines the range of addresses available in the DHCP server address pool. These addresses are assigned to client devices when the server receives a request message from a client system. The list setting prevents a single system from monopolizing IP addresses. It assigns an expiration time to each list IP address, ensuring that the HCP server returns enough addresses for other client devices on the network. Address reservation. In this settings, a client device requests their server to assign the same IP address each time. The server identifies the client device by its MAC address when assigning the IP address. That's it for today. Thank you so much for watching and subscribe for more videos. Let me know in the comments if you have any questions.